Hey cousins, welcome to another video from Love and Every Stitch by Ruby Baby. <coughs> Ruby Baby. I really can't do it. <coughs> Ruby Baby. That's better. <laughs> I'm Ruby Baby, and in this video, I just wanted to say hello. I wanted to show you guys some things I'm doing. I had a few moments to myself that I'm able to come and say hello to you all because I always miss you all. I'm making things, and I, first of all, I don't want you guys to think a day goes by that I don't think about you because I'm always thinking about you, especially when I'm crafting. And so when I'm not able to make videos and days are passing by, weeks are passing by, just know that my heart is breaking and I'm missing you every time. But um, I got some things I want to share really quickly. Some things are yarn related, some things are non-yarn related. And yeah, I just want to get into it. So first, I want to ask if any of you follow me on Instagram, have you seen my last, was it my last post? It might've been my last post and I was showing you some ribs I was making. <laughs> yes, I have started to learn how to do ribbing patterns in knit and I'm so excited. So I have a project, an actual complete project that I've done in knit want to see it <laughs> so i have it right here it's resting in my little yarn sack that i purchased from refuge at my granny's closet i'll put the information down below oh you know what while i'm showing you this bag i purchased this bag about a month or two ago and she sent it to me and she was saying that she had stitch markers that go with this bag but she didn't have them on hand and when she gets them you know she'll send them to me and I was like you know I was feeling you know special because she I, I, she already fulfilled my order but she gave me a little extra and you know what I've been holding on to that package this whole time like I'm gonna see if I can see a post date on here because this package kind of got rained on but um this was literally at the end of July, beginning of August, that I received this. And I, I can't show you because it has both our addresses on it, but she addressed it to Ruby Baby Cousin <laughs> instead of my name. And I love that because I still got the package. <laughs> but I actually held on to this because I wanted to share it with you all. And that's just, you know, how crazy my life has been. And it's in this beautiful package. And she packages her stuff, like, so professionally and beautiful. Like, everything is um, waterproofed. <laughs> That's what I call when, when stuff is packaged, like, really, really, really good. I say that it's waterproofed. <laughs> okay. So, I haven't even seen these. So, I'm excited. And um, I love her stickers that say, you are the heart of my business. I love that so much. So I'm gonna try not to rip this one this time because I ripped the light. Look how beautiful this is. I just wanna look how beautiful she packages things. It's like mad neat. And I don't wanna I don't wanna rip it too bad. Okay. All right, here we go. <gasps> look, oh my okay. This was definitely, definitely worth the wait. Look at this. Oh my God, look how cute. Uh, the flower, the little girl with the Afro puffs. She rocking rough and stuff with her Afro puffs. Hey. <laughs> and it goes in my bag. See, my bag has little girls with Afro puffs. That is so cute. I love that. Refuge, where did you get these? I want more. I want more of these. Oh, I love that. Okay, stay focused. Let me get back to what I was showing you. Okay, I was showing you my bag, but I want to show you what's in the bag, okay? I'm so proud. I'm so proud. Okay, here we go. Are you ready? 
Look what I made, everyone. <laughs> Look. I knitted a hat with my hands. This is not Addie work. This is me knitting all by myself. All by myself. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not perfect by any means. I actually dropped the stitch a couple of times and um Mima was actually impressed that see I think this is somewhere in the area that I dropped a stitch and um Mima was impressed that I was able to like you know cro crochet my way back up and get back in into it so I'm really proud and I'm gonna tell you what this is my first knit hat by knit but I will say that this knit hat turned out far better than my first knit machine knit hat <laughs> if i could find a picture of what that hat looks like <laughs> i'll um i'll post that one but look at my hat and again my ribs aren't perfect but i'm still i was losing count you can see i lost count here like i lost my rhythm between the knits and the pearls and the knits and the pearls but i found it and i started continuing in the right way so i i didn't i wasn't lost for too long but you know i was still learning and still figuring it out or whatever and i i this was like a little video tutorial i followed this tutorial from um i believe it was b hook crochet and she um she had a couple of knit things out there also and so it was a simple hat so like you do the ribbing and then you just do knit stitch knit stitch and then she teaches you how to um take the loops off the hook and cinch the hat so it wasn't you know decreases or nothing like that but pretty impressive for my first hat if i do say so myself like it's wearable like i wouldn't you know i wouldn't sell it or anything like that but i sure would keep my head warm with it <laughs> so i all my knitters or all my crocheters who knit and stuff like that and are rooting for me to do it i've done it i can do it i'm knitting and i'm really proud so i will say as i was knitting and learning how to do certain stitches i realized my most comfortable technique is um your typical what they call it american standard knitting english knitting whatever it is like when you um loop loop the um the yarn with your hand but this one i actually learned to continental knit so i had to do the the uh, regular standard way when i was doing the ribbing but I, I was practicing my hand at continental knitting but it's all knit stitches so i'm still not good at um pearl continental purling but i mean i'm guessing with more of course like more practice um, makes progress right so i just have to practice doing that technique more um without getting hand fatigue i um you know i have noticed that knitting still gives me a little bit of hand fatigue when i'm doing it so um so yeah so that's it so this is what it looks like inside out not too bad not too bad at all <laughs> i am so proud of this piece right here so there you have it and this and you know i'm still impressed of how less of yarn you know knit is to crochet so where's the ball hold on i had the ball oh here it is this is what the ball looked like so it was um some carto cartopu melange wool tweed that i was using and this is just some stash yarn that i had and from a, a skein that looks like this this is how much i have left so i mean i can't really weigh it but i'm pretty sure i could probably get a whole nother hat out of this whereas this you know i've already got one crochet hat but maybe i can get two knit hats out of that so that's that so what do you think <laughs> so yeah so that's all i have to share with you about knit i know i know this is a crochet channel cousin angie you crochet you don't knit show me some crochet stuff okay 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 i will <laughs> you don't have to twist my arm to show you crochet stuff no worries no worries no worries okay so in addition to that um i have been crocheting quite a bit i was doing some um i'm doing my projects for uh 
fall YouTube Yarny Hop, Yarny YouTube Hop. That's coming up first day of fall, um, coming up in September. Coming up September twenty. It's either twenty first or twenty second. I'm not even sure what the first day of fall is, but I do have my projects complete. I just have to record. Um, record the project and I'm very happy and excited to share that with you all and so um, also do you remember um, well again this is if you follow me I think I posted it on YouTube I think I did post it on YouTube on my community tab when we had um, granny square day I was showing a chest that I have full of granny Happy Granny Square Day. Come look at my treasure chest. Ooh, I have a treasure chest full of grannies. Can you believe it? Look at this. It's literally filled with grannies. Big ones, small ones, medium ones. Hmm. Here's some small ones. Couple here. Some medium ones back there. Some more. Look at all this treasure. So tell me, what can I do with these grannies? And so the chest is like right here. But I was asking if you had any ideas of what I can do with all of these grannies. And so just to um, put more detail to the grannies and why I have so many is because I had a co-worker a few years ago who lost their mom and she had a bunch of yarn and she blessed me with all of her mom's yarn and so in one of the bags was a bag full of grannies and so they're not the most perfectly made grannies but it is very scrap yarny you know um grannies but they're grannies of all different sizes i have big squares medium squares small squares and things like that so i was deciding like i need to start doing some projects with these grannies and so i pulled some out can you kind of see the grannies right there so I pulled some out and I made balaclavas out of the, them so to make a balaclava with the grannies you need eight grannies and so I pulled out all the grannies I had in in that size and they're usually made with five inch squares so I pulled out as many as I had that I can find in that in that batch of the grannies the five inches and I started like sectioning them off in color palettes to see if I can put something together. And it turns out I had two piles of colors that I was able to put together. So I'll show you the first one I made. So the first one I made is right here. And it came out so cute. <laughs> so this is the eight grannies. And um, it, I used the matcher stitch to stitch them together. Now, the thing about these grannies, like I said, they were very scrappy grannies, which makes the project even more unique looking, right? But um, what I was going to say was some of her grannies were made... Um, you know, like granny cluster, chain one, granny cluster, chain one. And some of them were made granny cluster, chain three, granny cluster. So I really had to like line up the clusters and like um, try to stitch them and stretch them as evenly as possible to make them. And so, yeah, so let's see. Mm. It's a really tight, like a tight head, but I love it so much look how cute <laughs> look look how cute that is i love it so i might make some more of these but i definitely want to you know uh start doing some more scrap yarn projects but i really like this i like it a lot oh, i gotta tie it up and pull it a little loose right here and so what i did was again i put her grannies together 
let me take this off i put her grannies together and then i i just you know picked a, a color after I, I like laid all the grannies together i was saying like what kind what color can bring it all uniform so for this one i used a real chocolate brown for this and i did after i put the grannies together there i mean there are tutorials out there um, if you want me to um, do a tutorial, because I think I could do a, a, a nice little tutorial um, for YouTube. If y'all want me to show you how I put mine together, because I did do it a little bit differently the second time around. It's like one of those, mm, sorry, it's like one of these has got wool in it. It's one of those work smarter, not harder <laughs> situations, because the first time I made it, which was this one, I literally like took little strips and bands and like literally, you know, uh, you have to, you know, um, sew them together each time or whatever. But there's definitely a way where you can um, line them up a certain way and take a longer piece of yarn and just continually do it versus, you know, one square, one line at a time. You know what I mean? So I can definitely... Um, work that out if anybody's interested I, I mean i can just do these on my own no problem but if you're interested in doing it also just let me know and then i just after i got them all together i did two rows of double crochet across the bottom and at first i was gonna like increase it to like um you know so it can kind of lay a little flatter but um after like i said after some of them are like chain threes and stuff like that after you do all of that it has it it, it opens up itself after putting stitches inside the chain spaces so it wasn't really necessary to increase and i did like i said i did two rows of double crochet and then i, I finished it off with a row of single crochet and that's how i did this one single crochet around the border and then i made a drawstring and then you know worked did another row and worked up worked in the um the drawstring and that's how i made that one and then i made this one which was brighter color oh, excuse me a brighter color palette there we go and this is how this one came out so you have that one on the top and you have the blues and the yellows and the pinks. And this is like a electric coral color. This is Big Twist. I forgot what it's called, but it's like one of them bright coral, neon coral colors. And I did the same thing. Two rows of double crochet and then a single crochet at the bottom. Like that. And then the drawstring. And that's what she looks like that's what it looks like but i love the fittiness of it the close the close head corner situation i love how close it is to the head whereas you know how my other hoodies are more loose loose fitting i really like that i really love how that turned out and i want to make some more because i really love i love the original like it's definitely a one of a kind like you can't is you're never going to be able to duplicate um the same look so that's what i like about this so that's beautiful so yeah so that's what i have to show you all for now as far as knit and crochet goes oh i do have some happy mail if you want to see my happy mail because i've been holding on to this for a couple days also but i always be trying to save my happy mail to share with you guys but you know I be I know the people who sent these sent me the happy mail be wishing like girl like what is taking you so long? <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm really really sorry about that. So I placed another order with just handmade. <laughs> I placed another order, and so I definitely want to show you what I got. So I you know I got all the thank yous. So this is her thank you card, and she you know she wrote a really precious note on the back and um these are like some care instructions for your for what you get and ooh, and she sent me some tea this time mm, some real organic stuff anxiety oh look at that that's so clever she sent me some 
I guess, you know, some calming tea that's called anxiety. I like that. <laughs> so, yes, yeah, so I'll definitely try this on a night when I'm trying to be mellow. And this time, guys, <laughs> I am addicted. I don't even, you know, I am addicted and I probably... Ooh, oh, oh, oh. oh, they are beautiful. Okay. Look at that. I got another set. I got another set. Let me take this out, the packaging. Hold on. Because it's packaged so beautifully, so professionally. Everything is individually locked. So this set, I got a set of five, I believe. Five or six. I got um, a G... H I J K and a 10 a 10 uh 10 millimeter hook. So that's six. I got six. Okay. So it says thank you for your order at the the closure of the thing. And um she has scripture reading here, and then she has her place cards that hold the um the hooks, and this is my H hook. My 5.0 millimeter H hook right there. And then on the front, it says, Ruby, baby. <laughs> yes. So look how beautiful. Oh, man, this is really, really pretty. This is really, really pretty. And I'm going to say something about these hooks because this is my second set now. I've been working with the first set that I had purchased from her. And they are phenomenal hooks. So, <clears throat> this, these are like um, resin wraps over a clover hook. So, these are clover hooks. And, um, however, she designs them, decorates them, and makes them oh so beautiful. But, first of all, you know, if you a clover girl, it's the way to go. But, these have a weight to them. So, it's just like the way... When you crochet it, it really um, flows. It really gives you a good flow and rhythm. And it has a weight kind of kind of like a furls hook. I've, I've actually, I don't have a lot of projects that I've made or using a furls hook. But it has the weight of a furls hook without the girth. So if you're into like that weight and how it helps you kind of maneuver your hook through your through your um fibers and stuff like that you know check this out check it out because you know you don't have to do what i do and like buy all the hooks all at the same time like you know <laughs> if your budget only permits you to buy one at a time start with your most free you know your your um your most frequently used hook and work your way into building your collection but they are definitely 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 worth having i can see them lasting a very 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 long time and i love the last pattern i released the mindful mix cowl the last pattern i released i did a video tutorial of it also and i love how it's displayed in doing the work in the videos so that it's very impressive so if you haven't gotten a copy of your mindful mixed cowl pattern what are you waiting for <laughs> but i also want to say the links will be down below number one in regard to that pattern number two if you haven't already please check out mindful crafts and more her channel she's starting to release her giveaways for her monetization celebration and the mindful mixed cowl is a part of that celebration so you actually have a chance to win a free um free pattern so yeah check that out as well and yeah i think that's it for now the next time i'll see you will probably be the uh spring um youtube hop not spring fall the fall youtube hop and so i'm excited to share what i have in store for you for that too so that's it for now i believe yes that is officially it and yeah i love you all i miss you all as always 
and I will see you in the next one. Okay? Bye! Hey cousins, one last thing. Remember to like, comment, subscribe, share, and hit the notification bell so that you will be updated with every video that I post, okay? Thank you so much. I love you again.